stops them speaking this moment, makes them feel anxious, makes them feel maybe they're not up to it. And that is not the case. Actually, all of us have confidence within. And actually, confidence doesn't exist on the outside. It exists within, in the visceral stuff, in the bits within you that we don't see. Because as you've just been hearing, the voice is the most amazing instrument. It's magnificent. And how often do you think about how yours works? Where's the strength of your voice? Put a hand on it. Here, give it shape to your larynx. And then the hitter is the air. Now when you know that your voice is an instrument, what does that tell you? The voice is an instrument. Now if you ever doubt the sound of your voice, let me tell you, all you have to do is practice is you need more expression in your voice. You're just not giving it enough, enough energy. And you also need to believe in yourself because the message is good. But what you can do is practice. And the simplest way to practice is to sing. You don't have to do a big ma, 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 ma voice coach warm up unless you want to. But what I really recommend is that every day sing somewhere, sing in the shower, sing in the car, Singing is the way to a great voice. Practice is the way to a great instrument. How do you know who the most powerful person in the room is? The person with the most confidence, that inner confidence that we're going for here. How could you tell? Is that it's about the breath. The most powerful person in the room has the most relaxed breathing pattern. And if I get into my breathing, I get into the unconscious. I calm myself down. So what's within you is the key to this relaxed, confident power. Actors know this because when actors are playing king, the king stays really still. Everybody moves around the king, and that's how you know the king's in charge. The next time you feel nervous about something, try that. Try getting still. But the diaphragm is the key to regulating your system. It's how you calm yourself down in that moment where you stand in front of all the eyes. It will make you feel confident when you most need it and you least feel like it. And I'd like to suggest that the diaphragm is the king of confidence. And there are moments in our lives where we have to speak, not because we have something to say for us, but because we want to speak for someone else. A wedding, a eulogy. And I would suggest that in those moments, these skills matter more than ever. It's breath. It's air. And why air matters? It's because we breathe our thoughts. All speech is out-breath. All song is out-breath. And all in-breath is thought. Inspiration and respiration have the same root. The Romans understood that we breathe our thoughts. And you know the simplest way to think about the in-breath? Close your mouth. So who would have thought that the big secret I promised you was that if you want confidence in speech, all you have to do is know when to shut your mouth. You wanna see me tremble when you try.